It might be winter outside, but the vacuum labs at Consumer Reports are all ready for when you get that spring cleaning itch. Its testers share which canisters, uprights, and stick vacs did the best in CR's tough tests. When Consumer Reports tests vacuums, it doesn't mess around. Well, actually, that's kind of all it does. So all of these tests mimic what people would have in their house. Testers drop debris like rice, cereal, and sand on bare floors to see how many passes it takes for a vacuum to pick it up. Pet hair, a problem? CR checks that too. A really good vacuum would pick up pet hair instantly and the hair wouldn't get caught in the brush roll. It would make it up to the bin or the bag. And then there's this tough test which measures how much embedded sand a vacuum can lift from a carpet. So it's almost as if you're tracking in sand from the outside and you're stepping on your carpet and you're embedding it in the carpet. We want to see how well those vacuums are going to pick it up. CR's tests reveal you can get a great vacuum for under $300. If your home has wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, an upright vacuum like this Kenmore Elite Pet Friendly is a good choice. If you need to switch between bare floors and rugs, consider canister-style vacuums for their maneuverability. This Kenmore performs just as well as a vacuum that costs more than $1,000 on bare floors, carpets, and pet hair. For quick cleaning, stick vacuums are an option. Stick vacs definitely are becoming more powerful, and you could use a stick vacuum as your sole vacuum. But that's really if you have like a small area or maybe bare floors. CR says you can skip the battery powered stick vacs and save hundreds with a corded stick vac like this recommended shark. If you're ready for a more hands off approach to vacuuming, you might be interested in a robotic vacuum. CR's tests have found that these robots continue to improve when it comes to cleaning performance and navigation. However, for deeper cleaning, you still will want a regular vacuum.